Okay. So, point of this video, learn box zones. Well, not box zones, polyzone in general. This can be, uh, you know, I, w I would say an actual polyzone, but I don't really do them. So, uh, it's just going to be box zones and circle zones for now. So, we want to basically have a polyzone here so we can use our radio menu to access this ATM. So, what we're going to do is I've made a new folder called Polyzone Tutorial. We are going to make an FX manifest.lua. We're going to fill this out. FX version. Oh god. And then we want to have the game. It's GTA 5. Author. You don't have to do this. It's not required, but I'm going to put it there anyway because, you know, I'm sexy. As always, um, this file will be available to get at my GitHub. Slash, uh, we'll just do poison. Uh, dash top or something, you know. So we are going to add a client underscore scripts. And we're just going to call this client slash bang dot lower. And we don't need any server, so I'm going to open client folder and make a new one. And cl underscore example dot lower. You don't need to do this. You could always just change this to literally um, client .lua, or you could put this in an already client script. So first thing we're gonna do, right, is we're gonna actually go back into the manifest. And we're gonna go at polyzone, and I actually forgot this one second. Um, hang on, I'm trying to get it through my thick right here. Um, okay, so I did just grab this from their GitHub page. You want to do at polyzone slash client dot lower, which you'll need it anyway. And then if you want to have a certain zone, so let's say I just want box zone, I'll do box zone dot lower. Or, you know, you could always do, um, there's entity zone, circle zone, and combo zone, but today I'm just going to be covering box zone. And I'm actually going to put this. At the end here. Now in CL example dot lower, this is where it gets a bit important. Okay, you're gonna create a local variable. You know you could call this whatever. Let's say I'm, I'm just gonna put as ATM one, right? And I'm gonna equal it to box zone create, and then we're gonna do vector three, and then we're gonna write in our chords. Should have this minified. Sorry. Now I do have my chords, so I'm gonna quickly just if I go into stuff, no, let me see, utility, no clip. Let's do very slow. All right, now we're just about inside, so we'll take this. We'll do 147.34. Of course, if you have a uh, script which copies chords to your um, fucking clipboard, you can always use that. But I'm using um, Kale chords, I think his name is. Right. So now we want to specify the box zone width and height. So I'm going to do 1.0, 1.0. Put another comma. Open some squiggly brackets. I'm going to do name equals. And I'm just going to select this to ATM1. Just make sure this name never, you know, interferes with another name. Heading equals. So we can do heading. And for that, I'm actually going to... Okay, it's 155.11. 155.11. And I'm going to be using uz equals true. Although you can use min and max z. 
Um, so it'd be min z equals, and then, you know, 34.11 or some shit, you know, whatever you want your z's to be. And then debug poly equals true. Now, this will set a green box at the poly zone. So this will be good for you if you're wanting to um, see where the poly zone is, which we want to do since we are just testing it. Now, we're going to use local at atm1 equals false, which we're going to be using this in this new function here. So we're going to write a function. Oh god. We're going to call this check atm status. That easy. Right, in here we're going to use while true do. And while it's true, local player pet is equal to player pet id. Local chord equals get entity chords of player pet. This is basically just whenever we call chord now, it will get the player's um, chords. Uh, pardon me. And then we're going to use at atm1 equals atm1 is point inside. And then we're going to add a chord parameter. Oh, pardon me. Oh, God. Oh, God. And then we're going to do if at atm1 then return true else return false you don't need to add this else statement but i do it just because fuck it why not and we're also going to add another atm2 just so i can show multiple support so or at atm2 then now we'll do local at atm2 false copy this two two now i probably shouldn't be doing this because there's not really much point you know for the video but I'd rather make sure that you know how to do multiple poly zones in one. So this would be good if you're using it for banking, like I've got it set up. Oh, pardon me. And I'm actually going to change these to 0.4. Okay. So now if I stop no clipping. If I go up to this, of course, there's not going to be nothing in here, right? I don't even reset the script. If I refresh, I'm going to clear that. I'm going to ensure, please, what do I call it? Play zone dash tutorial. Like that. So now you see we have these poly zones. Oh my god, I should have left them at one. So now we're going to restart this. Here we go. Now we've got poly zones one. Oh my god. And I'm not gonna debug them, right? But obviously don't don't take my exact chords because they are not ready. But um you can pull these back out with chords if you were taking my example. Um and now down here you're going to write exports, which is a um 5m function status actually you know we're going to call this check ATM and it's going to call the check ATM status function so now we would like to write um, some code uh, so I'm going to quickly go into my resources from radial.lua which is what I always keep, personally. Okay, so ID, this can be whatever the fuck you want. So call it, um, penis man, you know. Display name, we'll go with, um, open ATM. 
function name. You know, so this would be your banking open event, which I don't know mine, so I'm just going to guess it's that. And now local testing equals exports. We'll change this to polyzone dash tutorial. Check ATM. Ooh. Now, if testing, then return true. But I'm also going to do fuck equals exports. You will not have this in your default ambulance job, but I do. I have it as a separate function. And not fuck. So basically, this just means, uh, you know, if they're at the poly zone and they're not dead, then it will return the menu. It's true. So now I can copy this. And go into my config.lua. So now we can change the icon. Since I already have mine set up for banking, which is right up here, it'll be fine. And I'm actually going to change this to like that. Just so then I can open it and show you that it does work. Um I'm not gonna I'm not going to include this radio menu, but you know it'll probably be the same sort of thing with the QB radio menu for ESX. You know? Um, so yeah. Anyways, now I'm going to refresh. Show the polygen tutorial. And ensure boost dash radio. And then ensure polygen again. My fault. Since we're using their export. So if I go into here. Fuck me. Am I not getting into the polygen? Here we go. So now I'm in the poly zone. You can see I can open ATM. And this is set up to open up my bank. So I can open ATM, you know, withdraw, deposit, do whatever. And that's pretty much it for block zones. Obviously, you could set this up, like, instead of using a radio menu, you could be, um, you do some shit like, um, function, uh, do, 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 draw UI, and what should do. if check ATM status which we won't use actually um, they say we were in a different script we do exports check ATM oh, no, fuck me. exports and then the name so polytone dash tutorial put a code on and we'll use check ATM then we will Exports, uh, 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 I don't have a UI, but let's say I have a UI called um, Lucy dash UI dash dual notify. Oh, wait, I do have a UI. Got this file, this file dash UI dual notify. Do, uh, do, 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 do Lucy is cool. E So do some shit like this. Uh, no idea if it's gonna work. I don't even have this file you are installed. So, long story short, that's how you would do it. And uh, you know, if you walk in here and you've got that shit actually sorted out, it will show you the UI and all that good stuff. Just make sure 
you're using the UI properly, it may bug out, it may spawn a bunch of them. You never know. But yeah. That's pretty much it for these types of box zones. Um, with circle zones, which I would just quickly explain, you would get rid of this and you would do circle zone. And that's how you would create a circle zone. So if I actually... Uh, fuck's sake, I'm curious now. Very curious, man. I don't like this. Uh, press circle zone. Oh, if I add that now and I do fresh show please in dash tutorial. See now this is now uh, a circle zone. And this one represents how big it is just here. But yeah, it's super easy, super straightforward. Um there will be a, a link to the docs and shit um, somewhere, probably. But yeah, yeah, you know, you know, smiley face. You know, uh, I'm not very good at spamming. Smiley face is all round. Those are, are that's box zone and circle zone right there. Uh, appreciate it. Goodbye.